Yup, what's good, original crew, man? We're back. We got one of the most internet sensation. Would you say that? Like, it is, like, every time I hop on the internet now, it has something to do with this TV show, Love is Blind. You don't, you don't be seeing nothing about Love is Blind? I mean... Most of the time, I've been saying about the black dude. The black dude and the white girl. Oh, you don't know? You ain't seen no memes? Mm -hmm. And they so, were like, that was the most boring, because they were just sitting on a boat, and they said it was quiet in here. I, I was, is it from this, from season six? Mm-hmm. Oh, see, I... I'm yeah. saying, have you seen any memes and stuff? No, 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 like, no, People no, talking about online. Okay. I, I know you started watching it. Yeah, season season six, yeah. yeah. I started on episode one, got a little bit, not even halfway through. I haven't finished it yet. Yeah. But I used to watch it back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Like, I watched season one and two, I think. Season one, I know for sure I watched season one. But, but yeah. We got the secondhand embarrassment is strong. Now, a lot of people know about secondhand embarrassment. Some of y'all have put people through secondhand embarrassment. And some of y'all have experienced secondhand embarrassment. So, I think we all can recognize some secondhand embarrassment. So, we're going to see what this is about. Maybe I'll tap it. I didn't think about it. I was like, man, let me just see what everybody's talking about. We can watch it together since I haven't watched uh, episode one yet. I ain't going to hold you. Be real. I don't even like watching shows with you no more. Mm -hmm. It feels like it takes too long. What you mean? Because, for one, you like to sit there and binge watch. Me, I don't have time to sit there and watch the whole I season. I do. I like the And one day, you will want to... No, nah, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk so, about it. <laughs> so, with that being said, make sure you check out the links in the description box. Down below. You already know where to go, man. You want to first support, all you got to do is check out down below. Also, if you enjoyed today's visuals. Like it with a thumbs up. You know what I'm talking I about. I don't. Though. I really you, don't. She would literally try to sit here and watch every episode in one setting. And I'm like, yo, I got to get moving, bro. I can't just sit here. Okay, I got to get these videos remove, out. You can remove yourself. And then, and then you'll be like, well, I ain't finna stop. I'm going to keep going. I'm like. I will stop if we nah, agreed that we're no, watching no, no, it together. It's a different Like, we might be like, all right, we're going to watch two episodes. You'll okay, be like, shit, episodes. it was too good. I had to keep going. I know you. Yeah, sometimes I'll be like that, but I will be like that That's a lot of times this. you, come on, it ain't about us. Let's go and check it out. Let's see what this is about. Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about the show Love is Blind, and I really hope that aliens never see this because they would inevitably realize this is the peak of human stupidity and invade. You say it's going to ruin it for you? I said it's going to ruin it for me. No, it's not because, it, like, even the 90 Day Fiance, we just, he. But I don't do, watch 90 Day Fiance. He only do excerpt. Excerpts of it. He doesn't go with the whole thing. I look that aliens the never see this because they would inevitably realize this is the peak of human stupidity and invade now. If you haven't seen the show before, it's about a bunch of people falling in love through a wall. They put everyone in these things called dating pods, what? which are also just rooms, but see, people I've keep talking about it like it's this new groundbreaking invention. When you walk into the pods and the, the energy and the excitement, it, it it, it was, I, I had chills, it was it was awesome. Bro, the energy in these pods can't even be described in words. You yourself would have to step foot in a pod to understand what it's like. And then meanwhile, the dude is just sitting on a couch in a room with a glass of wine, talking to somebody through the wall. Honestly, that would give me chills too. I'm getting chills just watching it. Hello? I'm feeling excited that I've got a wife on the other side. It's amazing. All right, I think you're being a little bit too hopeful here. This guy really thinks he's gonna find his- Are they already married? No, they don't oh, okay, be already okay. married. They're looking for love. Um, and I will say they there are I do remember from season one two of the couples that from season one they actually got married they're still together to this day. Oh okay. okay. Yeah. So wife through a wall in a pod on a reality show. It is pretty shocking how quickly everyone starts to talk about being in love. Obviously, the whole idea is they're supposed to form a real connection first before they see each other. But the problem is they ask each other like six basic questions and then they're like, oh my God, I'm so in love. I've never felt this way before. Let's stay in these pods forever. Life is perfect in the pod. People judge me on my muscles, my mullet. I'm doing uh -oh. Love is Blind to see if 
people see my sense of humor and kind heart before they see what I look like. I came on this show to see if people That's appreciate cool. my sick personality before they know I have a killer body that I work so hard to achieve. I'm tired of people talking about my muscles all the time. That's all people care about. They just, uh, yeah, you see that shit? That's all people care about for some reason. I'm a good hearted person. Good, good people deserve good things, right? Look, I'm a good person. I love helping people, people that can't help themselves because they don't have muscles like this. How does this look, by the way? Does this pose look awkward? No, nah, this is totally natural. I look cool. You think I should roll my sleeve up more or just pop this completely off? Is there going to be a viewing slot in these pods? Because I'm thinking about doing some one-arm push-ups. Tell me five things that make you smile. Dogs. Dogs make me smile. Great answer. A very sunny day butterflies all right dude in my opinion it seems like this guy is just saying whatever he thinks will make him come off as this sweet kind-hearted person <laughs> yeah. i could be wrong but i'm not buying it and i don't think he's genuine he practically That's admits true. that when he's like oh man i hated all those answers but also i love them so it kind of sounds like he hated that he had to say those answers in this show they alternate so everyone gets a chance to talk to everyone oh the pod i watch the podcast i watch yeah i mean well, i listen to or we'll watch yeah they watched it they already watched both of them Oh, oh, okay, it. okay. I said, damn, well, maybe I need to go ahead and watch too. See, that's what I don't like about you. <laughs> I really, that's what I really, we'll talk about it later because that really bugs me. I told you earlier, I said social media made me, what? Speak your mind. I feel like the first time, like when I watched, <laughs> like back in the day when I watched season one, I feel like I tried to get you to watch it with me. You ain't not from season one. Baby. Hold on. How long we been together? We've been together you? forever. But I'm saying how long this show been? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what season one came out. No, 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 no. We got to do I all that. Let's go. Proof. No, you know you don't. One, but that means you don't know if somebody is saying the same thing to everyone else. Who do I got? Your wife? No, I'm just kidding. Oh or maybe. Oh my, um, my name's Jessica. 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 My name is Shekina. There are a lot of reality shows where you get secondhand embarrassment, but this show is relentless. Some of the things they say to each other are simply mind-boggling, and the only thing that could explain it is if it was their first day on Earth. If they just warped here from another dimension where people are completely out of their mind, then I would understand. Otherwise, I have no idea what explains any of this. So Jimmy and Jessica talk a little bit. They have a nice back and forth. They both like cocktail bars. You know, that's something. And then he compliments her voice, and she's like, oh my god. Jimmy, get your ass in this pod right now. We're getting married. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not trying to get ahead of myself, but like, I feel really good about you. That's good. That's good to hear. Because like, that's aggressive for me to say. It's really hard to say like, oh, my wife is here. Then don't say it. Stop saying it. It's weird. I know that's the point of the show to get married eventually, but this guy's just so hung up on that and he won't stop talking about it. So she tells him to manifest it. And then she says that getting married in four weeks doesn't sound scary to her at all. And then she's like, look at us. We're so cute. We have the same letter for our first name. We're J squared over here. And then she starts saying that he's got the juice and that Jimmy has the juice and she won't <laughs> stop talking about Jimmy's juice. Jimmy with the juice. You've got the juice. You know what I'm saying? Like no, nobody knows what the hell you're saying. <laughs> that swag, that like flavor about them. Jimmy, you just got that flavor. You know what I mean? Like I've never had such an amazing three and a half minute conversation like through a wall before. Your flavor. You know that, like that would be like, Put your phone up. I'm Look at that. Put your phone up. Hold on, Put it up. Phone. Stop. But uh, you know, I, that's that will be amazing to see. What picture do you have of this person? And then in your what head? if like once you see them, cause you like No, I, I really they gonna eventually see them. No, 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 no. I, duh. But what I I'm saying what is, is I know what that. image do you first have of the person? That's what I'm saying. And like once you actually see them and this image is not what you pictured in your head, are you like disappointed? I get, yeah, I get where you were coming from. I read. <laughs> Let go. Put your phone up, girl. Let's get back into the video spices up my life every day all day and i can't live without you i've learned that in the last three minutes and 48 seconds would you like to move into my pod we could be like two p's in a pod two j's in a pod j squared so then this dude shows up and he has this weird list of questions and he treats the whole thing like a job interview he seems annoyed just to be there i'm jessica i have questions written down and they're numbered one through 15. okay so if you want you can pick a number hi i'm jessica what's your name ma'am Ma'am, this is going to go a lot smoother if you just settle down and answer my questions. Do you consider yourself to be a romantic? Because that is very important to me. What is something you think you excel at in relationships? My loyalty and devotion. Eh, wrong. Nope. But you don't even know who I am, and that's a subjective question. The answer to number nine was commitment and loyalty. You said loyalty and devotion. What, you want me to show you the answer sheet? You don't believe me? I was friends with Mark Zuckerberg in grade school. What about you? 
You know, I was just going to ask the questions. I wasn't really anticipating getting the same one back. Oh my god! Oh no, I don't do answers. I don't. I don't do stuff like that. I just ask the questions. You see, I'm already perfect and flawless, so there's really nothing you could gain by asking me a question. So this guy thinks that he doesn't really need to do anything because he's automatically attractive. So by default, the women are going to like him. So it's up to them to answer his questions to find out if he likes them. What is one of your current short-term goals? I do want to meet the love of my life. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to actually meet. I can see it like he had a job interview. Baby, chill. This is a job interview. This was, <laughs> this is how the interview was when I went for uh, the, my last job. Mm -hmm. When we, they were the same tailored ass suits, dressed the same way, slick back ass hair. <laughs> So what are your long term? Like I swear, bro, this is <laughs> and you sitting up there in your suit, is you like, bro, we really gotta wear like in my head, I'm like, bro, we really gotta wear suits every day. Like, God damn, I ain't gonna like this play. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was thinking the whole damn time. I said, man, I ain't gonna like this shit, bro. Oh my god. Everybody was uptight like this. Mm -hmm. Then then you get hired on, they start talking about where they vendors they get their suits from and then one dude, he uh my uh the head dude had had my uh manager, my manager uh meet with his one of his tailors mm -hmm. and he coming in, he's like, Man, I can't afford them damn suits. I said, Bro, what the hell? What am I getting myself into? And so he said he just bought one suit, was getting it. I said, Bro, you gotta be I said, This ain't <laughs> my cup of tea right here, bro. Oh. I said, Man, this ain't me, man. I I was happy to get up out of that month. He does look like he's he he slipped the paper back. That's straight up interviewing, <laughs> bruh. I'm please get my ball. You are interviewing a girl. I don't ask someone them. without them judging me and me judging them. Mm -hmm. And so wrong. The answer we were looking for was crypto investment. Crypto investment. So you are way off. This guy seriously doesn't care at all. He just gets tired of her talking, so he gets up and leaves. But believe it or not, he is still able to find a connection on the show. I'm happy it's you. I will admit, I've been looking forward to talking to you all day. Aww. Oh. He's kind of like a pistachio. Like uh, what? That is not what I expected her to say. He's like a pistachio? What do you, in what way? Come to think of it, this guy kind of does look like a pistachio. And she doesn't even know what he looks like yet. How does she know that? I was starting to lose hope on this show, but then this little pistachio dude came in with a weird list of questions, and now I feel like I can love again. All right, moving on to a different a couple. Really quick. If you can go, I guess, anywhere and do anything, where would it be? I can go anywhere and I chose question. to come here and sit in a pod. A so question. these two end up talking for a little while and so far they seem the most normal. It's still a bit cringeworthy, but they're at least being their authentic selves, although this could end up aging horribly. I have not seen the whole season yet, so I don't know who ends up playing who. So after this, Jessica and Jimmy talk again and she breaks the news to Jimmy that she has a 10 year old daughter and he's like, bruh. Why didn't you tell me this when we first started talking? We've known each other for like a day and a half now and you well, didn't tell me? Now he says he's okay with that, but I'm not entirely sure I believe him. He could be lying or he could just be thinking he's okay with that right now. Well, actually, I think what he said is it's not a deal breaker, so. So that's a good question, right? Do you feel, every fucking time we post the video, you, you wanna go to that goddamn you... phone. Put that damn phone <laughs> really up. Put the, put the damn phone up, see? Like, I'm trying to ask you something, see? Y'all, she over here trying to validate what you did. She just came out. I am. Because she, she would be mad if I find, if I'm like, oh, I found some interest in the show because of somebody else. Because of somebody. <laughs> that really bothers me. You know what I'm saying? But listen, 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 I'm Linda, listening, Linda, 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 listen, Linda, listen. That's what I'll pay with me. L Linda. I'm listening. But, uh,. Do you, Linda, okay, Linda me, listen, go ahead. but do you find, do you think <laughs> that one should disclose that information, especially on a show like this, that you do have a child? Like, do you, do you think you should be up, up, uh, up front and forward with that type of information? Um. That you have a child? I feel like. Oh, but not like necessarily the first date, but first, on a show like this. I feel like with the intention of the show and it is to find like a partner to yeah, yeah, you know yeah. to get married and stuff like that me personally I want to go ahead I go ahead and let you know you know because I don't want to like we really having this connection on down the line and then I tell you that and then it's just like oh well technically on the first date you might want to disclose the information too though I mean yeah to to each his own cuz what's but... the point of us continue to pursue something if one is like hey I really, you know what I'm saying? You don't, I don't think you should spring that on somebody after like the second or third 
when they might start developing feelings or like some type of tr- true I feel, attraction. Uh, I'll attraction. just say this. I mean, I'll just say this. It, do it just you? be yeah. <laughs> do you at the end of the day? Like I, you know how to read a situation and just read that situation and go from there. Like you don't have. I, I do. Me personally, I do feel like you should. See, it's it's no, it's hard for me to say that I don't have kids, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Like yeah. personally, nine times out of ten, I would yeah, because yeah. I'm just very blunt and upfront. I'm just gonna let you know, and then you could do with the information, yeah. and we can go from there. But yeah, I guess I think she did the right thing. She didn't do it. On I feel first like that's gonna change. Day. Anyway, I, I gotta say, it's a weird move to try to find a stepdad for your daughter on a reality show. So after that, Jimmy and Chelsea talk again, and she's like, "I have something to tell you. I've been married before." And he's like, "Bruh, why didn't you tell me this when we first started talking? We've known each other for like a day and a half now, and you didn't." He's kind of like a pistachio. So then Jimmy says something really stupid and awkward. He's like, "Well, that's big news, but it's not the biggest news I've heard today. Meaning that somebody else had different news, and now she's gonna wonder what that is." Yeah, I, I just have had a lot dumped on me today. <laughs> I am so oh. sorry. Are, like, are you good? Because I'm, I'm... I'm good. I, I'm i good. I'm good. I'm just trying to figure out how to change the subject because I, I don't want to... Oh, oh, boy. So then she starts crying and she's like, I think the dating pod life might just be too much for me. And then some somber acoustic guitar plays and everybody's all <laughs> sad now because love is, love is blind. So Jimmy messed up big time and now Chelsea's going to go running back to the muscle guy. And they have an incredibly deep conversation. Seriously, I've never heard anything like this. I was excited to have fun time with you today. Aw. I feel like every time is fun time with us. That's very true. Aw. Is that a bad thing? No. <laughs> Why would that be a bad thing? Why would having fun together not be good? In this scene, Muscle Guy points out something I never really thought about. Having fun is good and not having fun, it's not its not as good as having fun. There are times in life when things happen and we're sad and we can't have as much fun, but usually we should try to have fun because a lot of people, they don't have enough fun. That's like the main thing that other people lack in life. Yes, if you take me to like a family member's funeral, I am going to be 100% serious and like support you and yeah. be there. But like, those are small moments in life like that don't take up a vast majority of time. Uh, okay. Listen, babe, if you have a family member's funeral we gotta go to, I'll be there. But also like, that's barely ever gonna happen. So let's just go ride a roller coaster. Life is about having fun yeah. in between the moments where you can't have fun. I should give a TED talk. Did you remember? chest here is taco meat yeah a little taco meat up top <laughs> Ugh, gross all right let's move on so pistachio guy continues to hit it off with ad he's just saying a lot of really mushy generic things like oh i feel such a strong love connection i can't wait to talk to you every day i feel protective over you now and then he delivers probably the cringiest line of the episode which is really saying a lot what is my greatest accomplishment finding you <laughs> oh god <laughs> No, we didn't. His greatest See. accomplishment is talking. <laughs> and now she impressed by that. She's like, oh my god. Now gosh, she impressed come by that. Take me, child. Girl, no, that's, that's it, so that high school, That high school pickup lines. You know what I'm saying? That's a high school pickup lines. That ain't no shit I ever said. Don't put no disrespect on my ass like that. Never said like something you done said. I ain't never said no bullshit like that. Come on now. Yeah. My pee is more pippy than that. <laughs> My P is strong. <laughs> but come on now. She really was like, oh, oh that warmed my fuzzy little heart. <laughs> come on, shorty. Oh, God. Okay. His greatest accomplishment is Definitely. talking to someone in a pod for a couple of days. This is one of those lines that is such obvious disingenuous BS, but somehow people don't see through it. The only normal reaction to that should be, well, that's weird. Why is that your greatest accomplishment? You barely know me. I mean, what do you even think about the engagement part of this? I think it's cute. What? The engagement part of it is cute? <laughs> That's how you describe it? You know getting engaged is like a serious thing, right? Like if you get married to a pistachio guy, that's always gonna be something that will have happened. Anyway, we have come to the end of the video. I'm sure some of you have seen the whole season already because I'm pretty sure they release it all at once. But I think I'm gonna try to avoid spoilers as I do this. Anyway, thank you so much everyone for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more content, you can head on over to Patreon. But yeah, have a wonderful week everyone. Hey, we're so, so behind on his channel with a lot of content. Hey, we gotta, I don't know, like, I know it do fair, like the views and stuff do fair over here. Uh, I kind of, 
personally wanted to start put like revamp a lot of stuff the way we do mm-hmm. and start putting like just switching it up like how we put out content yeah. where we put out content and where, yeah so hey this might y'all let us know should we just start like kind of twisting up certain things because i think some things that we do on the extra dose will actually perform better on the kid to see yeah. and maybe this should go you know what i'm yeah. saying so y'all let us know because then it's all about trial and error like test because Cause then we can start pu- pu- pumping out more. Yeah. Cause we'd be like, all right, this is what y'all want to see over here. This is that type of content. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? And some stuff y'all might want to see over here more. You know? You get what I mean? Yeah, I definitely get it. So but y'all just let us know, know, man. Cause we're so behind on like a lot of this con- type of content. And I know some of y'all actually do like it. Yeah. And we just like, hey, we we just don't do it as much because. It does fare over here, and the ones who like it, like, like it. it. And I'm, I'm sure it would have grown more if the content was more driven behind that. You get what I mean? The audience. Well, or, or I'm saying that, like, uh, never mind. I'll tell you about it after. after. Well, you don't explain. Child, I'm trying on. to explain. I was explaining a little bit to them, but because I just want to get them more because I really feel like it'd be, you know, yeah, interesting and fun for them. I think so. <laughs> but, hey, y'all, y'all let us know. But yeah, man, y'all let us know how y'all feel about it in the comment section down below, man. But it's always this. We'll, we'll honestly, we might can start watching this tonight. All right, whatever. Hey, spam us up in the comment. Let us know y'all thoughts down below. But it's always I do go for the name. DJ and kid is here. We are. We out.